Guys, it is 2024 and I love the new year, not only because it comes with a birthday, yes, I just turned 28, but also it comes with new goals, new aspirations. And what I've realized through my own self-improvement journey is the fact that your life can literally change in a year or less for the better. But also it could get worse if you don't do the right things. That's why this year I want all you guys to have a glow up physically, mentally, spiritually, all the above. Even me myself, I have some personal goals of mine that I'm working towards a lot this year. And if you're on the Patreon, you definitely would know. So within this video, I wanna share with you some tips on how you can actually go through your own personal glow up in 2024. And a lot of these things are actually some of the things that I'm actually implementing through my own glow up routine too. Now, the past year, I'm sure you've heard the glow up term a lot. And it's mostly revolved around in the looks masking community, right? Making ourselves more physically attractive but within this video i don't only want to talk about the things that's going to make you more physically attractive though that is important like i said before your mentality spirituality like all these other things can actually help you glow up with your life that can improve other areas right all right so without further ado let's go ahead and get right into it the first one is journaling and gratitude back when i was really really on my self-improvement journey like from the ground basis i remember the first thing i got was this gratitude journal and every single morning i would write in it it would have a list of write the things that you're thankful for you know it just really makes you more mindful and and present and for that reason i did it every every single morning and this was when i was in college so i was around 20 to 21 years old uh, i had my youtube channel i was doing a lot of fitness stuff and I was at the time frame in my life where I was so busy, I was so stressed that I didn't know what else to do besides the journaling and all that stuff because that was the only place where I felt like I can be present and actually be grateful and thankful for where I'm at in my life. And actually that's a goal of mine this year is to actually have a lot more gratitude because whenever you start to become more successful and actually go through a glow up, you'll start to realize that psychologically you just want more and more and more. That's actually a biological thing too. Like we can't even really control this, but the best way we can control this is just by practicing gratitude daily. So you don't need to go out and buy a journal like I did. You can simply just have a session to where when you wake up in the morning, you think about the things you're grateful for. You think about what you wanna accomplish. You look back of what you have accomplished over the past week or even a few months. And then you look back and if you have made progress, you're grateful for that progress. And overall, that's just an expression of gratitude in itself. And I feel like mentally, a lot more people will be happier, happier people, if they just express more gratitude within their own current lives right now. Now, you shouldn't express gratitude if you're not improving. If you're not doing anything with your life, if you're not setting goals, if you're not taking action, then no, do not practice gratitude. This is only for people who have set plans to improve and who are actively taking action in the moment. Something else that's gonna help you glow up mentally is to instill some sort of meditative practice into your routine. For me, that's reading. I told myself this year, I'm gonna read 30 minutes a day every single day. And by the end of the year, this should equate to over 10 books read if I keep it consistent, right? And the reason why I do this is to not only gain knowledge, but it's a meditative practice that allows me to instill my focus into one particular thing that can then translate into having more focus into other things. Think of it like a primer of my day. If you wake up in the morning and you're spiking your dopamine, you scroll on social media, or you get out of bed and you go right to eating sugary food, you're immediately programming yourself to not have any focus whatsoever. So that's why I do these meditative practices. So it's not only good for my knowledge, it's good for my focus, but also it's really good for my mental health. Like this gratitude stuff, this meditative practice stuff, is overall helps me keep a mental clearance so that I have the full ability to conquer my goals. Because what I've realized is that the guys who really don't progress a lot and the guys who don't glow up are the guys who usually have some sort of mental health block or just overall mental health issues to where it makes it hard for them to take action. And all these steps will actually mentally free you so that you can then take action so that you can actually start seeing progress. Now, in terms of mental health, there are many ways you can do it, right? Gratitude, meditation, but you can also just go to therapy. And there are many platforms and sources to where you don't have to go to an in-person therapy session anymore, but you can actually do this all online. And that's why I'm thankful for BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Now, my journey with mental health has been a very proactive and a conscious effort ever since I was 
was 18 years old. Though I was young, I still realized the importance of having strong and good mental health in order to help me actually self-improve and reach the goals that I had in place. So me personally, what I was trying to do is just overall manage my anxiety and stress by multiple practices, meditative practices, social groups and friends and networks, daily journals, and also practicing gratitude has definitely helped me a ton over the years. And also just being around more like-minded, positive people who can really make me forget about all the stressors I had in my life at the current time frame. Now, because of this, I am actually an advocate of therapy, especially online for those who maybe don't have that support system, those who do practice meditation and journaling and they still have too many stressors, or maybe you're diagnosed with anxiety or other problems. Therapy is a non-judgmental space to where you can actually express your emotions and the things that you're feeling and actually receive helpful advice back. Now, I know for men, it's taught that, you know, it's weak to go to therapy. As a man, you should handle your own problems. If you go about it that way, you're actually gonna potentially regress yourself instead of progress yourself, especially if mental health has been a huge issue for you. And like I said, instead of going in person or maybe going to an awkward waiting room, you can use BetterHelp, which is the easiest service to get started with therapy online. All you gotta do is fill out a questionnaire and within days you're matched with a licensed professional who resonates with your needs. And with a vast network of therapists specializing in multiple areas, BetterHelp makes therapy accessible and affordable for everyone. So if you're ready to start your therapy journey, visit my link down below in the description for 10% off your first month. I'll leave a link down below. So we talked about how to glow up mentally, a lot of the things that I practice on a daily and weekly basis. Up next, we do have to discuss physicality because the term glow up, like I said, it has a lot to do with your physical appearance and your physical appearance can actually set you down a good path and a better path in terms of your own personal networks and endeavors. So for that reason, the first thing you should do is work on improving your biggest flaw. Everybody from a physical standpoint has a flaw about themselves that you definitely, definitely know about. Now, some of these flaws can't necessarily be changed through just working on it alone. You might have to invest a little bit of money, but the point is your flaw could be the fact that you're slightly overweight. You're not treating your skin the best. Your flaw could be is that you're receding and balding at your hairline, right? So you need to identify your flaw. From there, create a plan of action on how you plan to fix it over the next year. And for the guys who follow me on Patreon, I've done this year after year. I've done it last year and I've done it this year. Last year, what I really wanted to do is actually fix my acne scars. So I actually went through a whole procedure. I documented it and everything. I invested a lot of time, a lot of money into this because this was a flaw that I really wanted to improve about myself. Now, to some people, they may not see this as a flaw, but I'm always looking for ways to improve myself, especially physically. Even when it comes to, for example, my hairline. If I notice a slight hairline recession, I'm trying to figure out ways on how to be more proactive against that and or fix that completely. So an easy way you can glow up is just by fixing overall your biggest flaw. So that way, the good things about yourself, your strengths can actually overweigh any weaknesses that you do have and or people don't even notice it. So create a plan of action and take action. Now, the next thing you wanna do is dedicate yourself to a strength goal for at least six months. Most of you guys have never seen amazing gym progress. That's because you have to stay consistent with what you're training for for at least half a year. The times where I progressed the fastest and the most was when I was doing a singular movement for an extended period of time, minimum six months. Planche, for example. I remember the days where I would chain planche multiple times a week. I would do pseudo planche push-ups. I would do different things, handstand push-ups, weighted dips. But I would do this for so long that my body had no choice but to learn the skill. Now, part of this, you do have to practice patience. I think in our society of swipe workouts and doing this movement this day, this movement this day, this makes it hard for people to actually stick to a set routine to actually see progress. But if you can tell yourself, I'm gonna stick to this strength goal or this routine for the next six months, I promise you from a physicality standpoint, that would be one of the best decisions that you have made because you have seen that you can actually accomplish and complete something. I think every man should do this with a handstand, right? I said it before, but I believe every man should learn how to do a handstand. The reason is, is because it sets you towards a goal of doing something that isn't picking up a weight and putting it down. It's a technical skill that takes practice, skill, and technique in order to learn it, which means that you must stay consistent with it over the course of a long period of time. So if you're able to consistently do a handstand, that tells me that you can actually work towards something for a long time without seeing results. And for that reason, you're gonna apply that effort into other areas of your life. Now, the next part, I wanna talk about nutrition because that plays a part into your physicality. And I was gonna say to track your macros, track your calories, but I thought of something even easier. And that 
that is to get a meal prep service. Recently, I started using a meal prep service again. And the reason why I love meal prep services is because it saves me time on decision making. It saves me time just overall in terms of washing dishes, in terms of prepping food, in terms of cooking food. And I buy my time back to then put to use into other aspects that can glow myself up mentally, financially, physically. And then alongside with that, when you have a meal plan service, it makes it easier to track your macros because everything's already listed. So you know, okay, I'm gonna cook my breakfast, I'm gonna have a smoothie and eggs, but then my other two meals, I'm gonna use my meal prep service and then I'm gonna have snacks in between. That's so easy to do and implement over a long-term basis that can actually from a nutritional standpoint, get you to your physical goals. And then most times meal prep services are actually more affordable than buying food and cooking out on your own or even going out to eat. So I highly recommend that you get one. I recommend that you get a, a local meal prep service if you can. So just search on Google local meal prep or local meal delivery and see the options, read the reviews for your certain area. All right, guys, that's how you can glow up in 2024. Like I said, it's a bit different. We're not only talking about physical, but also mentality too. And in terms of your mental health, don't forget to check out BetterHelp. I'll leave a link down below. You get 10% off your first month. Definitely useful for you guys who need it. And trust me, a lot of you guys need it. So click the link down below and check them out. I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Peace.